In this dosage calculation problem, it states that phenobarbital is to be given to a patient at 45 milligrams per dose TID. How many tablets will be given in one dose and one day? It's asking for how many tablets, so we'll set that as our goal. The doctor's order is for 45 milligrams per dose. So we'll begin with that shown here as a fraction, 45 milligrams per one dose. The medication on hand is shown here and highlighted is the information that's relating the amount of medication per tablet. 15 milligrams is equal to one tablet. Using this information, we can set up a conversion fraction that will cancel out the order currently in milligram and to do so we'll want to put milligram in the denominator of the conversion fraction so 15 milligram in the denominator the equivalent value of one tab in the numerator gives us a conversion fraction with a value of one we now can cancel out the common factor of milligrams perform the multiplication and simplification with division of the result leaving us with an answer of three tablets per dose to answer the first question. The second question was how many tablets should be given in one day? And if you note, the order included TID. TID is an abbreviation for a Latin term that means three times per day. We'll use that information then to create an additional conversion fraction with three doses per day, which will allow us to cancel out the common factor of dose, leaving tabs per day, performing the multiplication, we have three times three or nine tablets per day. In this next problem, a 138 pound adult with pneumonia is to receive 500 milligrams of Cyclor every eight hours. How many milliliters will the patient receive per dose and per day? So they're asking us for milliliters per dose to begin with. We'll set that as our goal. The doctor's order is for 500 milligrams and we'll begin this problem with that doctor's order expressed as a fraction. Looking at the label on the medication available, we see that there is 250 milligrams per 5 milliliter. We'll use this relationship to convert the current order, which is in milligrams, into milliliters. To do so, our conversion fraction will need the milligram fact in the denominator with an equivalent value in the numerator to give us our conversion fraction with a value of 1. Canceling out the common factor of milligram, we now can perform the multiplication since we have milliliter per dose, which was our goal. And last step, we'll do the indicated division for a final simplification and an answer of 10 milliliter per dose. The problem does have a second question asking how many milliliters per day the per day, if we look further at the doctor's order, was every eight hours. With a day containing 24 hours, we'll divide that by eight, giving us three doses per day, using that as a fraction to convert from dose into day. We'll cancel out the common factor of dose, perform the indicated multiplication to give us 30 milliliter per day for the second answer.